Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Farooq Saeed and Assistant Professor of Pediatrics, SMS and Services Hospital. Today we will discuss the topic about IMNCI, Integrated Management of Neonatal uh, and Childhood Illness. Uh, IMNCI is a systemic approach to child uh, uh, children health. It focuses not only on the curative care, but all uh, but also on the prevention of the disease. This approach was developed by WHO and United Nations Children Fund in 1995. Uh, it includes both the preventive components that is on the part of the families and the communities, and communities the curative action that is taken by the healthcare workers. Uh, IMNCI case management process. It involves the, uh, the these four uh, main components. The first of all, the main component is assessment. Uh, the assessment is further divided into to ask and look. Ask, ask the question about the relevant disease, and look for the. It, uh, the we look for the uh, for for examining the patient for the relevant disease, and also uh, for other nutritional deficiencies, and for immunization status. And after the assessment, uh, we classify the disease. The classification is done by the color coding triage. Uh, it basically three types of triages, pink, yellow, and green. Uh, pink means that there's a, uh, we need a ref uh, urgent referral, and yellow means we have to start the treatment, initiation of the treatment. Uh, and the green means uh, to advise and, uh, and uh, some treatment and send the patient home. Uh, after the classification, uh, we identify the treatment of the patient. Uh, after treatment, there is a counseling and then follow up. Uh, further, it is divided into two categories. Uh, one portion is that is below the two month of the age and the second one is from two month to the five year. Uh, do, uh, today's lecture in, uh, in today's lecture, we will discuss about uh, the disease problem that are relevant to two months to five year uh, of the age. Uh, this is a color coding uh, of the triage. Uh, the pink color means uh, urgent hospital referral, and the yellow color means the initiation of the treatment. And green color means advice and send the patient home. Uh, the, the, the most common causes of death in our community in under five years of age is, uh, are the most uh, causes of the deaths are infectious diseases uh, like uh, acute respiratory infection that is the 19% uh, of the total deaths. Diarrheal diseases that account for the 16.6% of the, all the deaths and malaria 8%, measles 3.7%, HIV and AIDS 3% and uh, neonatal causes that are that are beyond these uh, infectious causes that are uh, uh, 36.9. And more than half of the, these the deaths are associated with the malnutrition. Uh, the factor contributing to the illness is the poor living condition, the lack of safety, uh, 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 the lack of, lack of the safe water supply, poor hygiene, and overcrowding. Uh, first of all, we will discuss about the general danger sign. Uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, in the assessment segment, we will ask uh, uh, the, uh, some questions uh, that are relevant about the, that specific disease. Is the, children, is the child not able to drink or breastfeed? Uh, does the child vomit everything? Has the child convulsions? Now look, look for if the child is lethargic or unconscious. See if the child is convulsing now. Uh, if there's any danger sign present, that is categorized and classified as very severe disease. And the treatment of this part of the disease is if the child is convulsing right now, uh, then give uh, uh, appropriate uh, dose of dizepam, complete assessment, it does done immediately, uh, give first dose of appropriate antibiotic, treat the child to prevent the uh, low blood sugar and urgently refer to the hospital.
uh, first of all, we will discuss about pneumonia. Uh, ask about the main symptom like, does the child have cough or difficulty in breathing? If yes, ask for how long? Look, listen, count the breaths in one minute. Look for chest in drawing. Look and listen for strider. Look and listen for V's. And during this examination, child must be calm. Uh, two months to 12 months of the age, uh, for labeling the fast breathing, you should have uh, uh, the 50 breaths per minute. For uh, 12 months to five years, 40 breaths uh, per minute or more. If the child is wheezing uh, or either fast breathing or having chest in drying, give a trial of rapid acting inhaled bronchodilator uh, three to, uh, for up to three times, 15 to 20 minutes apart. Uh, count the breaths and look for chest in drying again and then again classify. Uh, now, now we will classify the cough and difficulty of breathing uh, and they are classified into three categories that were uh, color coding uh, the, as we uh, uh, discussed earlier. That is pink, yellow and green. The pink one is very severe disease. Yellow is, uh, uh, yellow is, uh, uh, is, 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 is called uh, pneumonia and the green one is no, uh, no pneumonia, cough and flu. In very severe disease, the signs are uh, any danger sign or strider in a calm child. And the treatment of this part is give the first dose of appropriate antibiotic, treat wheezing if present, treat the child to prevent the low blood sugar and refer urgently to the tertiary care hospital. In pneumonia, the signs are fast breathing and lower chest in drying. In that case, uh, give the child an appropriate dose of oral antibiotics for five days. If wheezing, even if disappeared after rap rapid acting bronchodilator, Give oral bronchodilator for five days. Soothe and uh, soothe the throat and relieve the cough with a safe remedy. If cough for if for more than three weeks, or if having recurrent wheezing, refer for assessment for the uh, TB or asthma. Advise mother when to return immediately and follow up in the three days. Uh, in no pneumonia, cough or cold. There is no signs of pneumonia or very severe disease. In 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 that part of the disease. Uh, uh, if there was coughing, uh, that the, even if disappeared after rapid acting bronchodilator, give a oral bronchodilator for five days. If coughing more than three weeks, or if the recurrent wheezing, uh, refer for the assessment of TB and asthma. Soothe the throat and relieve cough, uh, and a safe rem for uh, with safe remedy. Advise mother when to return immediately and follow up in three days if not improving. Now, after the pneumonia, we will discuss about diarrhea. Does the child have diarrhea? If yes, ask for how long? Is there blood in the stool? Look and feel. Look at the child's general condition. Is the child lethargic or unconscious? Restless, irritable. Look for sunken eyes. Offer the child a fluid. Is the child not able to drink or drinking poorly, drink, uh, drinking eagerly, thirst or uh, thirsty? Pinch the skin of the abdomen. Does it goes back slowly or very slowly? Uh, in very slowly, longer than two seconds. Uh, now we will classify this dehydration. In severe dehydration, it will have a two of the four of the following signs. Lethargy, lethargic or unconsciousness, sunken eyes, not able to drink or drinking poorly, skin pinch goes back very slowly. If we fall in that criteria, we will treat with uh, uh, this patient with plan C. We will discuss later. Uh, in some dehydration, there are two of the following signs. Uh, restless, irritable, sunken eyes, drinks eagerly, thirsty, skin pinch goes back slowly. Uh, in, in some dehydration, we will treat the patient with a plan B. In no dehydration, not enough sign to classify as some are severe disease. Okay. We will uh, treat this patient with plan A. Uh, if the diarrhea is for more than 14 days, then we will uh, classify this diarrhea as persistent diarrhea. If the dehydration is present uh, along with the persistent diarrhea, we will classify it severe persistent diarrhea. The treatment of severe persistent diarrhea is uh, treat the dehydration before referral unless the child has any other severe classification. 
give appropriate dose of the zinc suspension for 10 days and refer to the hospital. Uh, with no dehydration uh, and persistent diarrhea, the treatment would be advise the mother on feeding uh, the child uh, uh, who has persistent diarrhea. Uh, give appropriate dose of zinc supplementation for 10 days. Give uh, multivitamins, mineral supplementation for two weeks. Advise mother when to return immediately and follow up for three days. And if the blood is present in the stool, it is uh, categorized as dysentery. The treatment for three days with the oral antibiotic recommended for Shigella. Uh, give appropriate dose of zinc supplementation for 10 days. Advise mother when to return immediately and follow up in two days. Uh, plan A. Uh, give extra fluid as much as the child will take. Tell the mother, breastfed frequently for longer at each feed. If the child is exclusively breastfed, give ORS or clean water in addition to breast milk. If the child is not exclusively uh, breastfed, give one or more of the following. ORS solution, food-based flu uh, fluids such as soup, rice water, yogurt drink, or clean water. It is especially important to give ORS at home when the child has treated from plan B or plan C during the visit. The child cannot return to the clinic if the diarrhea get worse. Teach the mother how to mix and give uh, ORS. Give the mother two packets of ORS to use at home. Show the mother how much fluid to be given in addition to the usual uh, fluid intake. Uh, for, a uh, for, for up to the age of two years, uh, 50 to 100 ml uh, uh, should be given after each loose tool. Uh, for the children who are greater than uh, two years of age, uh, should be given 100 to 200 ml uh, after each loose stool. Tell the mother to uh, give frequent small sips from a cup. If the child vomits, wait for 10 minutes, then continue, but more slowly. Give extra fluid until the diarrhea stops. Now we will discuss about plan B. Uh, in plan B, uh, the, the 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 best treatment the the best treatment and and the type of the fluid should be ORS. Uh, the child age uh, it is uh, the approximate amount of the ORS given in ml is calculated by multiplying the child weight in kgs by times seventy five. If the child want more more ORS, then give more. For, uh, for infants under six months who are not uh, who are not breastfed, also give 100 to 200 ml clean water during this period. If you uh, if you use uh, if you use standard ORS, this is not needed. If uh, if you use new low or smaller ORS, uh, show the mother how to give ORS solution. Give frequent small sips from a cup. If the child vomit, wait for 10 minutes, then continue, but more slowly. They continue breastfeeding whenever the child wants. After four hours, uh, reassess the child and classify uh, the child for dehydration. Select the appropriate plan to continue the treatment. Uh, begin feeding the child in the clinic. If the mother uh, uh, must leave before uh, completing the treatment, show her how to prepare OR solution at the house at home. Show her how much ORS to be given. Uh, in the uh, at four uh, in four hour, give her enough ORS to complete the dehydration. Uh, also, give her two packets as recommended. Uh, the the rules of uh, the rule this type of management at home are give extra fluid, give zinc. Uh, it is usually recommended about a two month of the age up to five years. Uh, frequent breastfeeding, when to return and then follow up. Plan C. Uh, the plan C uh, in this type of the management uh, we will give. Uh, IV hydration. In first two pl plan, plan A and B, the cho our choice of the treatment was oral hydration. Uh, in type C, there is usually 10% of dehydration. For the correction of the 10% of the dehydration, we have to give 100 ml per kg. If the infant, a child is below the, uh, uh, below the 12 month, uh, then we will, uh, we will divide this type of the management into two parts. The first part, 30 ml per kg given in the first hour, and then the 70 ml per kg is given in the next five hours. Uh, it means the total type of the uh, total total duration of the treatment would be uh, six hours. Uh, when the if the child is greater than 12 months and up to the age of five year, this first portion 30 ml per kg is given in the 30 minutes, and the next portion uh, 70 ml per kg is given in a two and a half hour. 
the total treatment would be uh, uh, would last in uh, three hours. Uh, next, we will discuss about uh, uh, the IMNCV classification of fever. Does a child have fever? Uh, we will determine this by the history. Are we feel hot or temperature that is greater than 35.5 degrees centigrade or above? Ask. Fever for how long? If more than seven days, has fever been present every day? Has the child had measles within the last three months? Look and feel. Look or feel for stiff neck. Look for runny nose. Look for the sign of the measles, generalized rash of the measles, and one of these, cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. Uh, if the child has measles now no, or within the last three months, look for mouth ulcer. Are they deep and extensive? Look for the pus draining from the eye. Look for the clouding of the cornea. And now classify uh, this fever. If yes, if yes, any danger sign or there, there's a neck stiffness, then it is classified as a very severe febrile disease. Then take the slide, uh, thick and thin smear, immediately before giving IV anti. Uh, malarials or antibiotics. Uh, give first dose of uh, uh, I, I am uh, anti malarial. Uh, uh, give first dose of uh, appropriate antibiotic. Treat the child to prevent the low blood sugar and refer the teaching hospital uh, uh, urgently. In suspected malaria, uh, uh, they have the, that have the sign of fever by, uh, by fever and uh, feels hot, the temperature 35.5, uh, 37.5 degrees centigrade are above. The confirm through rapid diagnostic test or microscopy if available. Treat the child with appropriate anti-malarial. Give oral paracetamol. Now, measles with or with uh, with are within the last la last three months. Then it is classified into severe complicated measles, measles with eye and mouth complication, and simple measles. In severe complicated measles, they have a general danger sign: clouding of the cornea deep or extensive mouth ulcer. And this, uh, this patient should be treated with first dose of appropriate antibiotic, give one dose of paracetamol in the clinic. Uh, if, uh, if clouding of the cornea uh, or pus draining from the eye, uh, apply chloramphenicol eye ointment. Treat the child to prevent low blood sugar, give vitamin A, urgent referral to the hospital. Uh, in the category of measles with eye and mouth complication, they have the sign of pus draining from the eye and mouth ulcer. It should be given the oral antipyretics, uh, dose of the vitamin A, uh, uh, chlorom, uh, chloramphenicol eye drops. Uh, if mouth ulcers, it should be treated with gentian violet uh, and follow up in two days. In simple measles, uh, there's uh, uh, measles have no, now are within the last three months. Give one dose of paracetamol in the clinic, give vitamin A, advise the mother when to return immediately and follow within the two days. Ear problems. Does a child have ear problem? If yes, ask. Is there a, a severe uh, ear pain? If their ear discharge, if yes, for how long? Look and feel. Look for pus draining from the ear. Look for tender swelling be, uh, behind the ear. How this classify ear problems? It is classified into uh, mastoiditis, acute ear infection, chronic ear infection, and no ear infection. In mastoiditis, tender swelling behind the ear and it's treated with the first dose of appropriate antibiotic. Treat the child to prevent the low blood sugar, first dose of paracetamol and uh, urgent referral to the hospital. Uh, acute ear infection. The pus is draining from the, uh, from the ear. Uh, the, the duration is usually less than 14 uh, days. Are there a severe earache? Uh, give appropriate oral dose of antibiotic for five days, oral paracetamol, uh, and dry ear wicking. Advise the mother when to return immediately and follow up in five days chronic ear infection. Drainage is reported for 14 or more days. Dry the ear by wicking. Give appropriate uh, uh, top, uh, topical uh, ear drops for two weeks. Give parastamol uh, for high fever or pain. Really uh, refer to the ENT specialist and follow up in five days. And the last category is no ear infection. In, in the, there's no ear pain or pus draining from the ear. If any other, uh, other ear problem, give uh, appropriate treatment or refer to the ENT specialist.
malnutrition look and feel look for visible severe wasting look and feel for edema of the both feet determine the weight for age now the uh, now classify uh, uh, it is classified into three categories severe malnutrition very low weight not very low weight in severe malnutrition uh, there is visible uh, severe wasting and edema of the both feet uh, and it's treated with the uh, uh, oral vitamin a uh, treat the child to prevent low blood sugar and refer urgently, uh, urgently to the hospital the second category very low weight uh, in 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 this type of category uh, the patient have very low weight for age but there is a absent absence of edema and wasting uh, the treatment should be assess the child uh, and then uh, counsel the mother regarding the feeding advise mother when to return immediately uh, if feeding problem persists follow up in 5 days uh, and then follow up in next 30 days the last category is not very low weight in not very low weight the uh, the patient have uh, 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 not very low, uh, low weight for age and no other sign of malnutrition uh, and is uh, treated with uh, the uh, mother should be counseled regarding the uh, uh, feeding advise mother when to return immediately if feeding problem persists and follow up in 5 days anemia look look for pallor is it severe pallor it is a some pallor uh, classification it is classified uh, classified into three type of category severe anemia anemia and no anemia in severe anemia the severe pallor uh, treat the child to prevent the low blood sugar and refer the child urgent to the hospital urgently to the hospital anemia so the second classification is anemia uh, and, and, and there is a sign of some pallor a mother should be counseled regarding the feeding technique give oral iron give oral anti uh, malarials if there is a high endemic malarial area living in residing in high malarial endemic area and deworm the child advise the mother when to return immediately and the last category is no no no, no pallor and there is no sign of pallor and no additional treatment is given thank you very much Okay. Bula le kaise karna?